Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Manifest It Vanessa on YouTube. My name is Manifesting Gaia. That is my Twitter, TikTok, podcast, and Instagram. All the links are down below. And my brand new workshop, Manifest It Vanessa workshop, also launched last week. It's down below with a free ebook on how to manifest. And also if you purchase a program, you have a referral in your program, meaning you can give it to a friend to buy a course and they get money off and then you get money off because you referred a friend anytime you want to purchase another program. So everybody's just getting money off so if you get a course you can get money off and give it to your friend also let me know if you like this zoomed in because i like it zoomed out but it was just a mess over there <laughs> and i didn't like how that looked it only gives you two options either it's like you can see literally my entire house or it's like this i don't feel like this is too bad but i don't know i've been zoomed out for like a year so it's like weird going back to like this close but i kind of like it close and personal period but today we're talking about manifesting appearance change because everybody and their mom wants an appearance change wants to talk about appearance change wants to manifest appearance change before we even go into like is it really possible can i because y'all don't even watch the video and y'all be like can you make a video on this can you talk about this like listen to me when i say this it's what you believe the law of assumption assumption is something you accept as true without proof or evidence so can you accept it as true before you even manifest it that you can manifest it that's your answer if the answer is yes to you then yes you can manifest it if the answer is no to you you can still manifest it but you you have to be the one to believe it but what i know to be true what i've seen even if i didn't see it i don't really have time to sit here and be like well okay i believe in it's able to manifest sps because everybody's done it and talked about it but i don't know about this i don't know about this that's not a thing it doesn't matter if somebody's done it or not because it's the same process me personally i've never done a face one because what do i need to change on here but weight loss yes and then y'all started commenting and i noticed like y'all just reflected it in my reality because i didn't even check a scale people are like well how do you know your parents change happen if you don't check because people will tell you all over your reality anyways that's another thing but we're gonna talk about all of that in the video it took me like one to two weeks because i really had no resistance towards it because it's always changed my whole life which brings me to my first point about appearance change do you look the exact same way you did when you were born do you look the same way you did at 10 or 14 or 20 or 25 no your body has changed its whole life you have been experiencing appearance changes your whole life like that's the one thing that has been consistently changing we weren't born with the sps or we weren't born with money in our bank accounts but you were born with an appearance nobody's the same height they were when they were born nobody's the same face shape jaw structure eye color some people hair color some people weight voice anything you are always progressing if you know that to be true if you know i'm a completely different person my body completely did a 180 from the time i was born to current day why are you asking can you manifest appearance change manifestation isn't magic and that's another thing that's already what holds a lot of you back that's already what people say well that's not possible you can't do it it's because they hear manifestation and think magic manifestation and magic are not synonyms at all Manifestation is selecting an identity. You not being able to manifest something is the manifestation of that identity. You are in the identity that I cannot manifest. Why would your reality reflect anything else when law of assumption is your assumptions? Based on what evidence? If something you accept is true without evidence, which is what an assumption is, based on literally what evidence I can't manifest, are you saying that? Nothing. You just don't believe in yourself. You have a low self-concept, which obviously we're going to get into also. But with that being said, your body has never been the same. Your face has never been the same. Your body's never been the same. Nothing on your appearance has ever been the same. I don't care if you've got skin conditions, this, that, and third. Most of them, you were not like born with or weren't as bad as they are now like they just progress over time like your body is changing over time so let me ask you this if you know your body has changed over time is always changing still constantly changing you're still not going to look like this in 10 years 20 years 30 you already know that so you already know your appearance has to change it is changing it's not like okay it's like this and then 20 years randomly you're going to wake up and like look older or whatever or look younger some of y'all some of y'all age backwards okay um which is a belief if that's what you want then start saying that why do you doubt that because again manifestation and magic are not synonyms it's just consciously saying i have this appearance change instead of it just happening or you assuming it's not happening instead of you just waiting you're just speeding it up why do you take on the story that now that i can have what i want especially about something that is already doing it i'm not making it start i'm not making my body or face start to conform it has been doing it since the day not even since the day we were born since you were in your mother's stomach okay you grew limbs you grew hearts you grew organs why are you doubting that it can happen for you it's not something that is not already happening it is not something that is not already happening understand this it is not something that is not already 
happening. So why do you doubt that something that is already happening, that you're choosing the direction you want it to go in, cannot happen for you? Because your self-concept is terrible. What is self-concept? Self-concept is your identity. If manifestation is identity selection and self-concept is your identity, then self-concept is going to control what you have because self-concept is what you think you can have, is who you think you are, is how you view yourself in relation to the world around you. So if that is low, if in relation to the world around you, you think you're out of control, if in relation to yourself, you don't think you can have what you want, and if in relation to manifesting, you don't think you can manifest, what part of that screams I can get my parents changed. I can have what I want. Like literally nothing because you, you're you selecting. Like I said, what reason, if your body is already conforming all the time, are you now doubting? I don't care what it is. No single part of your body, no face, no nothing, no hair length, nothing has been the way it was when you were born. So it has already changed itself. The only reason it really stops most appearance changes is because we assume it. Like most people say, okay, you stop wearing at like 18. The shoe size you have at like 13 or something is what you're going to have forever. So, so we just accept those things. We just accept those things for ourselves. We, we, we select those identities for ourselves so now you're saying you know what why did i decide that it had to stop there okay you look at your face in the mirror and you're like oh this is what i'm gonna look like for the rest of my life which you already know is not true like i said you know you're not gonna look like this in 10 15 20 years if you have a low self-concept you're not thinking like that you're like this is how i'm gonna look and i don't like how i look and i'm stuck like this absolutely not so you need to change your self-concept the identity you have about yourself and also appearance change in general and then also your specific desires which is the way i break self-concept down which is in three parts how you view yourself how you view that area of your life and how you view your specific desires so how you view yourself one thing that's really important is i don't really preach the idea of not liking yourself like it's fine to want to change but at the same time why are you hating on yourself and you want to change it it's like hating your sp but still wanting to manifest them a lot of people have that problem because it's like how are you hating something that you want it doesn't matter if you want to change them but you can't view it like that because then you feel like you're stuck and you're trying to get out you're like okay i'm stuck with this version of sp oh my god i hate them and i have to change them or i'm stuck in this version of my body or my face and i hate it and i want to change first of all the first thing you should ever have is self-acceptance okay because number one like I said it's going to be easier to move out of it because you're, you don't feel like you're literally chained down to your own appearance second of all what reason do you have to not like yourself you're beautiful you're stunning you're amazing you're sexy change that like i just did to you really just tell yourself like i'm sexy and beautiful oh i compare myself why 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 exactly so start telling yourself that you're sexy two is your self-concept about your ability to manifest basically do you think you can have this if the answer is not yes then why do you want it you wouldn't want something that you didn't think you could have but at the same time, the reason why our desires don't make sense to us is because the version of you that it doesn't make sense to isn't going to be the version of you that's receiving it because manifestation is identity selection. Y'all be like, I've been trying this for a year, for two years. It's not happening. Exactly. Because that version of you is not receiving anything. You have to be the one to accept it for yourself. You're not convincing the mirror to show you something different. You're not convincing the scale to show you something different. You're not convincing somebody else outside of you to tell you something about yourself that you are not telling yourself, that you are not giving to yourself, that you are not accepting for yourself, that you are not identifying yourself as. You have to change the beliefs about, do you think you can have this? The answer should be yes. The answer should be, I already have it. My appearance has changed my whole life, okay? It's not going to stop now that I actually want what I want. It's only going to speed up now that I know I can consciously have it, right? I have so much belief in myself. I know I'm the operant power. I know I'm the creator. Like, how hard is that? That's the stories you have to get into if you want changes in your life. The second part is how you do that specific area. Appearance change. Okay, kind of ties into like what I just said, but stop seeing it as something that's hard. Anything you tell yourself is hard to do, it's going to be hard to do. Anything you tell yourself is easy, is going to be easy. My appearance always conforms to me my body conforms to me that's a good point i want to talk about real quick your body is always on when you start changing in the next 10 20 years it's not going to be like you look like this and then 20 years randomly you just wake up and look like that it's going to be you're changing right now your ears are always open your subconscious mind is always on your digestive system is always on your heart is always pumping blood is always moving your cells are always on. like there is really barely a single part of you that is off like really no part there is no part of your body that is off like, literally ever even when you sleep which you still be twitching your eyes are in REM rapidly moving like this rapid eye movement REM you guys turn it off in your mind my apparent change isn't working my body isn't conforming that's not even true your ears are always listening you give your body commands i'm not even saying that in a manifestation 
ask her like, oh, you give your body commit. No, actually, you are telling yourself, you are telling your own subconscious mind, which is on 24 seven. I don't have what I want. Why are you confused that you don't have what you want? Because you don't tell yourself, I have what I want. And then when you do tell yourself you have what you want, you do it for 3D validation. That's the self-concept. If you are doing it for 3D validation, then you're only ever going to reaffirm what you see in the 3D. And what you see in the 3D is your beliefs. And what is in 3D now is your beliefs that said, I cannot have this appearance change. So stop looking to something you have told you have what you don't want to have what you want. You have to be, with manifesting anything, you have to be your own evidence you're not going to have evidence of a story you've never told and even when you start telling that story you guys will tell it for two seconds because you want to get something outside of you there is nothing to get outside of you you are changing within did you have to get your height to change your whole life did you have to get your skin to change your whole life did you have to get your weight to change your whole life no you expected those things when you were seven eight nine ten eleven twelve years old were you sitting here talking about oh when will i keep growing when will i gain weight this that and the third oh when will this happened you just assumed i'm gonna get older i can't wait to be older so i'm gonna be big and strong and lean and whatever that was your whole dialogue that's why parents change happened for you then and aren't happening for you now is because your identity was different you were expecting when you were 12 13 14 15 now you don't expect no more literally why like i said there is no function of your body that has changed from the time you were born to right now just your beliefs so, so that is all you're changing for the validation of yourself so you can stop repeating the stories that you don't have what you want so with that being said there's not a single part of your body that is off right so if your body's always on it's like a running car it's not going to move just because it's on doesn't mean it's going to move you have to shift gears you have to shift identities okay so if that's the case then there should be no reason why you're telling yourself the apparent change can't happen or it's not happening if my body's always on and it has always conformed there's never been a point in time in my life where it has not conformed up until the point in time where i said it's not conforming then you already know what to do so then you already know your self-concept in that area of appearance change should be it's easy it has always worked it has been a lifelong thing it's always conforming to me my body's always listening to me and it has to follow my commands this is the power of self-concept when you know something has to be it has to be and it's not something that you're convincing yourself okay i could get it if it was like okay sp it's never conformed your way your whole life money has never conformed your whole way your whole life but your body has literally never not conformed is my whole point so it's like what are you even doubting you already have evidence of your whole life of you having appearance changes i don't care if you want if you have brown hair and you want ginger hair i don't care if you have blue eyes green eyes you're five seven you want to be six one i don't care what you are now if you were five seven now you want to be six one well you weren't five seven when you were born okay and then the third part which is your specific desire, which this leads me into, is what do you specifically want? And are your beliefs supporting that? I wanna be this height, but I'm this height. I want this hair color, but I'm this hair color. Are there people in the world with the desire that you want? I don't care, manifest it or not. Same thing with any desire. I don't care if this person was born into generational wealth or not. I don't care if this person was in an arranged marriage and found their dream person or they had to go out and find them. It doesn't matter how they got the goal. The circumstances that lead you to it don't matter. Does somebody in the world have what you want? I don't care if somebody dyed their hair red or I don't care if somebody was born with red hair or I don't care if somebody was born with blonde hair and it changed red. Does somebody have your end goal? The answer is yes. I don't care what appearance change it is. The answer is yes. I don't care what appearance change it is. The answer is yes. I don't care what appearance change it is. The answer is yes somebody else in the world has what i want if you know that that is already all the validation that's not even the validation that you need but okay y'all be wanting physical evidence boom somebody else has it and if the world is a mirror to you and everybody's you pushed out then they're showing you what is possible for you so if somebody who is not the operant power of your reality has what you want then why are you as the operant power of your reality like, doubting if you can have what you want who cares? You don't know how they got that. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you get it. So with that being said, there's no reason for you to be questioning if you can have what you want. The second you guys have a desire, this is why, again, I will never stop talking about self-concept. Because if it was good, it would just be, okay, I desire it. It's a promise, period. I'm going to get what I want. And then you would just reinforce it. Because that's how it's supposed to be. The second you get a desire, it, you didn't get a desire so you could question it. Like I said, if it doesn't make sense to this version of you, if you're questioning that much, you're not the person who's going to receive it. Because the person who would, the version of you who received it, you know they have a different mindset. Think of you having your appearance change. Like the version of you, you know, walking around. How would you feel? You would feel better. You'd feel happy. You would feel confident. You'd feel glad. You would feel self-acceptance. Hell yeah, I manifested this. It was so easy. So if that's not you, then that's not going to be the version 
version of you that's receiving if you're the version that's just doubting questioning wavering this that's not you so that's why you have to change your conception of self because you have to select the identity where you expected it as much as you expected it at 12 years old 10 years old five years old you expect appearance change as much as you expected it at five you had no physical evidence that you were going to be this big at 13. maybe other people were but you really didn't know but you just assumed you just expected okay I just want to be big and strong like my dad. I want to be big and strong like my mom. But you didn't even question like, what if it doesn't happen for me? Yeah, other people have it, but what about me? No, you were like, okay, somebody else has it. Somebody else is tall. Somebody else has a good figure. So can I. So when you change all of those self-concepts, then you can start reinforcing. Get into the self-concept affirmations. I'm a goddess. I am the beauty standard. I have the appearance change I want. I love the person I see when I look in the mirror. I love that I have my desired appearance change. I have my desired weight, my desired face shape, my desired nose. Everybody always compliments me. Okay, before you ask all the limiting questions, what if I want to look like a specific person? Then say that. People always say I look like this person. I love that I look like this person. Okay, what features do you want that this person has? Say you have that. And then people are like, well, what about scales? What about mirrors? What about this? Should I avoid them? I never say that. The answer is no because you're not avoiding your own reality y'all be scared of your own thoughts and beliefs change them then if you're scared of them then change them just repeat new ones but also i know i'm talking super fast but i'm not sorry you can slow the video down or watch a different appearance change video from another creator and i have captions too so it really really is no reason to be even complaining anyways no this is not oh i'm gonna hide and then hope for my appearance change like absolutely not also i have an appearance change program in the workshop so if you want to cap cap it's because i was like oh i'm saying an exact line that's in the program like this exact line but no you're not hiding from your own face like this is the importance of already saying you already look good like when i was manifesting my weight loss i wasn't like oh my god my stomach this it was like i just looked at myself i was like hey queen like losing weight because i already knew like i already knew what was gonna happen like i was like that's something that's gonna go down are you so excited i wasn't like oh my god oh my god so you guys have to learn to observe but not absorb it's all perception why are you looking in a mirror and saying i still don't have what i want you're affirming it i never ever affirm that i didn't have what i want even if it was like oh it's gonna conform or it's conforming but it was never ever oh it's still the same it was always if it's the same then i'm saying it's conforming you can't be looking in the mirror look at the scale and then ha have the perception attached to story that it's stuck like that has it ever been stuck like that is it the same as when you were born the answer is no keep i'm gonna keep going back to that it has never been that way your whole life so why are you making it that way your whole life right now there is no reason no reason self-concept until you're there because there is no reason for you to be in that story so then either you can do that i always say it's still always conforming like i don't care what i see well how do i get past that self-concept if, if you knew you were in control if you knew who created if you knew that it does not make sense to be doubting something that has never not conformed and if you knew that it was always conforming what question do you have that, that can be answered by that if those were your beliefs absolutely nothing there is nothing to question doubt or waver i don't care what it is i don't care the circumstance i don't care if oh i've never seen anybody with it then make it for yourself why do you need somebody else to show you something if you can have something or not like i said there's already people who have it for most of the th things that you want seeing somebody else with it isn't enough to make you believe in yourself so it doesn't matter if you saw somebody with it or not so you guys think oh if i see somebody else with that i'll believe it you, you won't you won't because you don't okay i'm assuming if you want an appearance change you want other desires like you want an appearance change you want sps you want money you want a job you've seen other people with that success story you still don't believe in yourself so stop looking for outside of you because it's never going to validate you until you validate yourself be your own validation i have a video about manifesting without evidence be your own validation and then you get into the techniques whatever you want start saying that in our conversations you, you already talked yourself all day anyways you were the one who tells yourself oh i don't have what i want oh, this that and the third okay get into your inner conversations where you do have what you want what would you be saying how would you be moving what would you be thinking it would be like oh my god i love this hot body like the same way i talk to myself now that i manifested my weight loss i was talking to myself when i was manifested <laughs> that's why manifestation is instant because it's just selecting the identity you have to be the person for it manifest so i don't even want to say when i was manifesting because the second i accepted it for myself it started conforming that's why it took one to two weeks like you you're the one who won't step into it step into it stop looking for it stop looking for movement stop waiting stop checking the mirror stop checking the scales i don't care as far as action y'all know i'm not action based like literally in the time that i was manifesting that i was eating out every single day i don't care and I, I really never even eat out anyways, but why not? Like, that's another thing, especially for my weight loss folks, which I already have a video on manifesting weight loss itself. Y'all be scared. Oh, somebody came on my live the other day and was like, oh, I'm scared to like get bubble tea with my friend, get boba. I was like, bubble tea? Even if it was, I don't care if it was a 20 ounce steak, but a drink, 
she's like i'm scared it's gonna mess up my weight like that's why i said you guys have to have self-acceptance and then you have to work on the self-concept because the fact that you think anything outside of you can affect a manifestation you're not well you already know you already know that but you're not understanding it you're not applying it nothing outside can affect you and that's why because you guys have no self-acceptance you're like i hate this body and i have to change i want you to understand this is the body that's changing so you're, that's why i said you're not leaving anything this this is the body that has conformed your whole life right so it's going to be the same one that's conforming you're staying here it's conforming so me personally i already have a video also not taking action y'all know i don't why, why would i have to i know i can do it with my mind i know i can do anything sp money jobs business opportunities a successful business anything anything youtube subscribers like what action am i taking literally nothing i don't have to promote i don't buy ads i don't do that but if you did like if you have a skincare or something or if you have like metabolism pills okay but also if that stuff was working you wouldn't even be on this video like you're here because your action isn't working so this is the reason i don't even take action anymore ways is because my mindset controls the results of anything whether i take action or not my mindset will make it conform and if you're taking action and it's not working it's because your mindset sucks that's my whole thing is if you're not even stable why would you take the action anyways oh this skincare isn't working for me it's not working for me it's not working for me it's not working for me it's like you have the same effect it's not using it at all because it's not the skincare it's your mind so you can use the skincare or you can go to the gym or you can eat good like i'm never telling people to not do stuff that they think benefits them okay you want to take your eczema medicine but like i said mindset overrules everything you can't do your skincare take your medication work out and then say i'm not seeing nothing i'm not seeing nothing that was me with the gym actually i was like i'm not seeing nothing my stomach never changes everything else changes like my back does my quad my legs do but my stomach it's like i just had to drop that story because that's what it is if you're going to be doing stuff then you have to have the mindset as well stop thinking everything outside of you has to do the work but except for you oh i'm gonna sit here and think nothing's conforming but be mad when my 3d shows me nothing is conforming like i have to laugh like that's why i just laughed because that's ridiculous it's absolutely insane is it working the answer when you clicked on this video is probably no exactly you have to change that it is already conforming it is conforming or it has conformed or it changes it changes all the time with appearance change people for some reason this 3d thing you're not the only person who has to see things they don't like i said this on a tiktok about appearance change but y'all be like well i have to see myself every day in the mirror you know how many people have to see their specific people every day at school at work they live with their specific people you know how many people have to check their bank account multiple times a week for whatever reason like you're not the only person who has to see an unfavorable 3d or else nobody would be manifesting if their 3d were favorable there's no desire where your 3d is favorable if you're trying to manifest something so i don't want to hear that excuse i have to see myself every day i have to see my weight every day okay 3d does not affect your ability to tell yourself a new story you look at the 3d then you tell the negative story you don't tell yourself well sometimes y'all tell the negative story and then look to the 3d but regardless you look to the 3d and attach a negative meaning you want to know how people manifest their own appearance change how i did it how people manifest their sps monies jobs businesses school grades family friends is because they, it doesn't matter what the 3d shows they can look the 3d dead in the face and say it's conforming that's how you have to move why do you want 3d to validate you so much it never will because you know how many people i've seen y'all be manifesting height changes weight loss oh my god it changed i i grew shorter i grew taller my stomach went down i saw my nose change and then y'all be like oh my god it, it went back it went back it went back because you couldn't sustain the story because your self-concept sucks so self-concept in all three areas implementing a new story your body is always conformed your face is always conformed you're not the same way you looked when you were born stop looking for it to validate i don't care if you have a mirror in your house every day i don't care if you look at yourself in the mirror every day everybody has to see a 3d they don't want when they're manifesting something if you're trying to manifest you know business growth and you have to log in you know to make sure everything's good then you're going to see the lack of sales in the beginning you're going to see the lack of money in your bank account if you're trying to manifest money you're going to see the lack of sp if you're in no contact so i don't want to hear it. everybody has to go through it but if you had a good self-conception that wouldn't even be a thing so that's not a thing and then the last thing i want to talk about is other people's opinions what i mean by that is first of all why y'all even go to people who don't know about the law and talk about whatever it, it, it's beyond me like i would never go to someone who i thought wouldn't tell me a positive story about myself or if i knew their opinion was negative and i knew it would affect the way i think about myself why would you entertain that conversation but anyways i don't care if somebody just said it to you unprovoked like i don't care if your mom's like you look like you've been gaining weight and you've been trying to lose it or i don't care if you know you want your friend and you're like oh my god i feel like my hair is getting thicker and your friend's like no mm, it's still thin you still balding girl what i need you to understand is if that shakes you up you're not stable but also i always say this all the time but if somebody who does not 
know about manifesting or believe in it stop letting their opinions run their lives like any manifestation coach on this platform will tell you that you can manifest your appearance change and you're going to go to somebody who has no idea what you're talking about and then believe that over this it's like then why do you even watch the videos if you're just going to believe well i'm gonna tell you why there's actually a reason it's because you don't believe it for yourself you watch this video but still don't believe it so then that's why you resonate whatever you resonate with is what you believe whatever you internalize whatever you absorb that's why y'all absorb the 3d oh but my mirror yeah because you believe in 3d more than yourself just change yourself y'all but on top of that it's like i can never ever 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 believe what somebody says who does not know about the law of assumption because that right there already tells me i already know their life's bad i already know anybody who could say oh it's not possible i know they're living in misery and pain i already know it i would never want to trade lives with them for a second of the day because anybody who's that negative they can see this and not even like try to comprehend no i'm gonna reject any good thing in my reality i already know the reality sucks so i don't listen to people who say what i'm saying is wrong because first of all i've done it i've seen it and i don't like what all that i just said makes sense your body is always conformed you have bad beliefs about yourself you're doing the same thing that you've done negatively in your favor why would it not work i don't see what i said that was like magic like change your beliefs that all this video has been change your beliefs i just never listen to somebody who doesn't believe in this because all i said was change your beliefs if they're saying that's not true that's not true that's your belief so i'm not gonna argue with somebody whose beliefs clearly reflect their life if they have bad beliefs they have a bad life so stop listening to people and also if it's not supporting what you want stop listening to it if it makes you feel bad there's a reason thinking about having your desired appearance change makes you feel good doesn't it because your body knows your body knows your body's really intuitive right it knows it has gut feelings it has whatever whatever so if your body's like oh oh my god i really want this appearance change it would feel really really good blah 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 and then you hear somebody say girl that's not happening for you and you feel bad exactly your body's literally saying i reject that statement so listen to it listen to yourself like y'all gotta start listening to yourself if somebody is not saying what you want to hear then they are wrong they are wrong especially the, it, first of all if they knew about the law they wouldn't even be telling you that anyways so if somebody does not know they're in control of their own life why would i want to listen to them if somebody is not telling me i'm literally the most beautiful hottest sexiest person on the whole planet i am not listening to them because that's all i should be hearing that's all you should be hearing is you're so beautiful sexy and that's another thing is stop conforming your desires to other people's opinions i don't care if your mom says you look like you gained 10 pounds like don't conform to that somebody came in my life the other day and was like trying to manifest a change in their um family's behavior because they they're a woman but they dress more like mask and they were like well my family always like you know talks down on me or whatever they were like i'm still gonna dress how i want to but you know sometimes it just sucks and i was like good i'm glad you're still gonna dress because i would be so upset if you conformed to them and you were unhappy in your own skin because you know what i say they're mad they're mad because you know how to dress they're mad because you're sexy so appearance change people if you're like oh well they tell me this they tell me this. they're mad because you're sexy they're mad because you have their desired appearance change they're mad because they can never th create the appearance changes you want they're mad because you look good they're mad because you're confident like they're mad anybody who's talking uh, against you is mad number one that you're confident number two that you have what you want and number three that you can be doing have anything that you want like hate comments like i i never get them because that's just not my story but like even i'm not even online like in real life nobody can tell me i don't care what it is you can tell me anything about sp money career school youtube i don't care what it is like it's negative it's literally gonna bounce off me like you're mad you're mad because i literally have it all i literally have it all you have to say that's yours all somebody talks against you you have to start saying you're mad because i have it all because i'm not even saying that as a uh, oh you're mad because i have it all that's the reason if they're not supporting what you want literally why why are they not supporting you there is no reason for you to, to not support somebody else just for existing they're mad because you have what you want and you look good your body's tea you're super sp skinny super pretty <laughs> super thick super pretty they're, they're mad you look good you have what you want you have your pants change you're beautiful period and with that being said that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like comment and subscribe remember you can have anything you want in this universe nothing's too big small water expensive i believe in you you should believe in you and i'll talk to you in my next video bye